Hello viewers, welcome to Renew Media. This is the time for Underworld. Blood Wars movie renew the Underworld franchise, in which vampires and werewolves, called lichens, use guns and swords to settle a centuries-old feud, showed signs of growing more playful with its fourth installment, Underworld Awakening 2012 which moved away from the series' labored mythology and threw in Stephen Rear as a mad scientist. Any hope of a similarly limber fifth outing dies immediately in Underworld. Blood Wars. This film is so heavy with exposition that you would think that the director, Anna Forrester, and the screenwriter, Corey Goldman, had set out to complete a dissertation instead of a sequel. Returning, in her full leather get-up, is Selene, Kate Beckinsale, somehow still invested, a vampire death dealer wanted by both sides. Apparently, her blood and the blood of her daughter, who has gone into hiding since the last movie, can confer special powers on those infused with it. A property that has made the strains sought after by the Vampire Council member Samira, Lara Palmer, and the Lycan leader, Marius, Tobias Menzies. With an almost willful lack of fun, Underworld. Blood Wars introduces new dangers, self-propelled bullets, and nightshade. Fatal for some vampires but only painful and paralyzing for Selene and backdrops, including a vampire outpost in the frozen north and what must be history's dullest vampire soiree. After so many years undead, who could party? The series' strategy of bathing its imagery in blue has always been useful for obscuring murky special effects, but here, it seems like a taunt. A guarantee of visual monotony to complement the anemic entertainment value at the last we are gives the rating is 2 and movie is below average. Please subscribe our channel for correct reviews and remember our channel is Renew Media.